Friends, what's going on? Alex here from Bad Galaxy. I hope that you are all doing well. Thanks so much for taking a couple of minutes to check out this video. Please be sure to watch each video until the end because at the end of each song, I'm gonna do a deep dive into the inspiration and motivation behind the songs. And if you know me, then you know that I'm terrible about talking about my music. I don't know what my problem is. It just gives me anxiety and I think to some degree, I feel like if you tell the listener what the song is about, then it kind of ruins the whole magic and kind of ruins their personal experience with the song. But I also realize that's not always the case and I think a lot of people actually do want to know what the artist was thinking when they wrote a certain song. So I'm gonna do my best to open up and just tell you guys about the meaning behind a lot of these songs and just, yeah, give you kind of a look into my thought process. So thank you again so much for checking out this video. I can't wait to share new music with you all in the future. Until then, peace and art and I'll talk to you guys soon. Feels like I'll never get out of this I think I'm stuck on repeat Cause I keep living the same life Over and over and now it's getting to me And I tried working like a real man And I tried playing the fool And I tried following my dreams right into the fire and everything it consumes and how will i know if everybody's laughing if it's a joke and i'm caught up in the middle of it i don't want to wait for the punchline to go i don't want to wait for the punchline to go i don't want to wait for the punchline to go I tell myself that it's hopeless And it will only get worse Oh, you know, but it's all Just a trick of the mind Psychology in reverse And I try to manifest a new self And I try to visualize success And I try to tap into the power of positive thinking but it just made me depressed and how will I know if everybody's laughing if it's a joke and I'm caught up in the middle of it I don't want to wait for the punchline to go I don't want to wait for the punchline to go I don't want to wait for the punchline to go Tall enough Oh, one day you'll look up And realize they're overshadowing all that you love Oh, it's a lonely retreat It's a dead-end street It's a song that shouldn't be sung Oh, but I don't know what to do It's in my blood, it's in my roots It's in the parts of me that I can't touch And I don't want to wait for the punchline to go I don't want to wait for the punchline to go I don't want to wait for the punchline to go No, I don't want to wait All right, well, reverse psychology. I think that most people are familiar with the concept of reverse psychology, but if not, it's essentially just the act of telling someone that they can't do something or they can't have something in hopes that that kind of talking will then trick the person 
into rising to the occasion and actually being able to achieve that goal or to want that thing. And it really is essentially just that. It's kind of a dirty mind trick. Um, but at the time of writing the song, I was definitely feeling stuck in a rut. I felt like I was doing the same thing over and over again and that I wasn't making any progress towards achieving my goals and I was just super unhappy with my situation. And so in my own dark humored kind of twisted way, I was saying, well, if I just tell myself that things are the absolute worst and that they just couldn't possibly get better, then maybe I can use reverse psychology on myself and trick myself into thinking that things actually can improve. And the song is really not supposed to be super dark. It's definitely supposed to be kind of tongue in cheek. And, um, and I realize the lyrics are pretty explicitly dark, but that's again, that's kind of my own twisted sense of humor. So yeah, that's the inspiration behind reverse psychology. And as a small caveat, I'm not a psychologist, so you probably should not take any advice from me.